hello guys welcome back to prospect channel tv thank you very much for always coming out here may god bless you all who wants to be a millionaire host frank edo has warned nigerians over the potential implication of their choice in 2023 general elections through his twitter handle frank edo is understood to be advising nigerians on the three frontline Presidential aspirant Peter Obi of the Labour Party, Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party, and Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the All Progressive Congress. Despite not stating his preferred presidential candidate, Frank Edo noted that every Nigerian has the right to vote for whomever he chooses, but that such a person must be willing to accept the consequences of his choice, especially when it turns out negative. I really think everyone has a right to vote every, anyone they want to, but don't come regretting your choice after a couple of years and releasing your mistake on Twitter. Embrace your stupid choice until his tenor hands. Oh, there, he said. They should vote for you eh you are right most of the illiterate ones both old and young sorry to use the words those fools who are after money to suffer for four years will not listen they should be wise and say no to vote buyers hungry ones from apc and pdp frank is is saying the truth time will come when everybody we defined their mistakes i don't really know that these are reactions by nigerians pretenders are not coward as you think frank spoke in riddles only people of deep thoughts can code it so if you don't realize his words it's like you fought you forgot frank in the public office as a stand, he must act natural otherwise he breached the ethnic of practice okay frank you are right on point when everyone selects a leader if the leader does does way fine but if he does not they shift the blame on each people for example the parties the godfathers the other tribes or even religion it is high time we stop the blame game and accept responsibility. God in the holy books have advised us to pray for our leaders, but here many of us do the opposite and accept results. Of course, there are four there are few people who do. There is nothing prayer cannot do. Let's put more effort in prayers than causes. Hmm. Well, I understand what Frank is trying to say, though some commentators are actually, you know, taking it wrongly. What did he say? He said, election is coming. You know, people are jumping up and down. I am the vice, pre I am the best presiden presidential candidate and all that. It's my turn to become the next president. I am the one that will lead Nigeria to the paradise, this and this and that. So what he's just trying to say here is that you have to open your eyes and vote for the rightful person. So that by the end of the day, you will not get yourself, you know, to be blamed. Why did I do this? Just like what Nigerians are doing right now. If we have known, we shouldn't have voted in APC, you know, into power and all that. Even with what is going on right now, so many persons have not still learned a lesson that some people, they can never change, even when they have seen the worst. You see this government we are today, this very government, even with the killings and the suffering and agony, sorrows and all that, they will still come and tell you that they are the best president. Just look at the three presidential candidates you mentioned. 
Who do you think is fit to be the next president of Nigeria? Let's just forget about sentiment. Let's forget about religion. Let's forget about uh, a tribe. You understand? Who do you think is best to wear that cap? Because if we make another mistake, for you to correct it is going to take decades. It's not going to be easy. That is just what he's trying to say here. If you make another mistake, don't come to Twitter to come and be talking. So now you have every opportunity to correct the wrongs of yesterday. Not be say because you just want the person to become the next president of Nigeria. What can that person offer? If APC said they have the best candidate so far, the best presidential candidate so far, they should tell us what they can do. Or they should tell us what they have done that will make us to vote for them. They should convince Nigerians why they should be voted for. You know, I could see people, they clap, you know, they jump up and down, APC, this and this and all that. What did they don't do for us? Okay, make we can't go back to PDP. Because the PDP is on power, uh, APC is on power now, this one they happen. Then PDP want to let us know that they are the best candidates. Atiku was once a vice president of this country. They are our problems, our past leaders and our present leaders. They have made themselves lords. Why common Nigerian out there is a slave to them? But I believe this time around, the narrative is going to change. Because Nigerians, they have woken up from their slumber. They begin to think, right, no, this thing we are doing, you know, right. You will give me 10,000 naira today. You go finish. One hour, you don't finish. But we are talking about 10 years. They will be there. So you just have to pick your PVC and vote the the and vote rightly. That's just what Frank Edo is trying to say here. So, guys, what's your take? I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you very much. Bye for now.